In this video, I'm talking about the Canon Rebel XT. This is a DSLR camera from Canon that was released in 2005. And you can pick this thing up nowadays for anywhere from like 50 to $80 used on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or wherever you buy used camera equipment from. And so this camera is definitely on the cheaper end of interchangeable lens digital cameras. Now I actually have a video coming out soon where I'm gonna compare this camera with four other cameras that are all under $100. And every one of them is an interchangeable lens camera so they're not point and shoots or anything like that. And so definitely stay tuned for that video and go subscribe if you're not already. But this camera will be a part of that as well as, like I said, four other cameras that are all under $100 just like this one. So that is gonna be an awesome video if this is kind of around the budget that you're looking for if you wanna to stick to buying camera under $100. But you still need that interchangeable lens mount so you can swap different lenses on and get higher quality photos. Like I said, I'm still working on that so it's gonna be out eventually. But without further ado, let's get right into the Canon Rebel XT. So in terms of specs with this camera, it shoots eight megapixel raw photos. So it's not the highest resolution, which makes sense because like I said, it came out in 2005. And speaking of the sensor, this is an APS-C sized CMOS crop sensor. So it's gonna have about a 1.6 times crop. So for example, if you put a 100 millimeter lens on this camera, it would be a full frame equivalent of about 160 millimeters. So keep that in mind when you do purchase lenses for this camera. And then also like I already stated, it has a Canon EF mount. So you can put on an insane amount of Canon lenses or aftermarket lenses like from Rokinon or from Sigma. There's literally like an almost unlimited amount of lenses you can choose for this camera from all different sorts of manufacturers, different price points. And that's one of the things that I really love about this, having that Canon EF mount. Now when it comes to other specs, this has a 1.8 inch LCD screen, 1.8 inches. So it is really small and you can't do any sort of live preview. So the only way to look at what picture you're taking is look down the viewfinder of this. However, you can look at the photos after you take them on this LCD screen, but it's not even really worth it at that point. It's kind of okay for checking framing, make sure you got everything in the shot, but checking colors and exposure and everything like that just really is not gonna happen with this small of a screen. Now in continuous shooting mode, this camera can shoot up to three frames per second, so nothing special there. It's definitely not gonna be the best for any sort of sport shooting or you know fast action photos. This camera also does not record any sort of internal video. There's just no way to record a video with this camera at all. However, it does have a built-in flash if that's something you're interested in. And without a battery grip, this camera weighs 540 grams. So those are pretty much the main specs of this camera. I mean, just by seeing all that, it's really nothing to get excited about. Everything about this camera is very outdated. However, that doesn't mean you can't take good looking photos with it still. If you have the right lenses on here and you know what you're doing with focus, composition, exposure, you can still get some awesome looking photos out of this. However, just keep in mind, they're not gonna be super high resolution. You're not gonna be able to crop in a bunch on them because it is only eight megapixels. The ISO performance is not gonna be very good. So you're really gonna wanna keep it, you know, to one or 200 ISO and shoot in more daylight scenes. Autofocus is definitely nothing to write home about. It's nothing compared to any sort of new cameras, but you can get by with it. Pretty much everything with this camera, you can definitely get by with and take good looking photos if you know what you're doing and you take your time. And that's really no surprise. I think with any camera you're gonna get that's under $100, you're really gonna have to take your time with more. It's not gonna be as straightforward as one of these brand new cameras that just you know can pretty much do everything for you instantly. This camera is definitely not gonna be that. But I also think that's kind of one of the fun things about cameras like this. You know, you really, want to take your time more and really check everything you know the best you can before you take a photo because it doesn't just do all that for you and i think that's a really fun aspect of this and like i said for under a hundred dollars it's just something fun to take out take photos with and just gain experience with now, i'm sure you've seen some photos taken by this by now but one last thing i want to mention is kind of the ergonomics of this and the usability so as you can see i have a battery grip on it right now and if you buy this used a lot of times it'll just come with a battery grip but i would recommend trying to get a battery grip or trying to get one with one or just any way to get your hands on a battery grip with this because it feels so good in the hand it's pretty heavy it has a nice deep grip on it with this battery grip on here this camera just feels awesome great for taking vertical shots as well of course and pretty much in general the ergonomics kind of the button placement dial placement of this camera you know the grip itself is really nice to use and this camera is so much nicer to hold and use than something like a 
Sony NEX camera that really doesn't have any grip on it. You know, your finger kind of dangles off the bottom there. These NEX cameras are amazing cameras for their price points and they can do awesome things, but the ergonomics is just nothing compared to one of these older DSLRs from Canon or Nikon or really any other older DSLR like this. They're just so nice to hold and use. That's pretty much all I wanna speak out with this camera. Like I said, I will have a video comparing this to four other cameras that are all under $100 and all interchangeable lens cameras. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. But to wrap things up, this camera definitely takes some work to get used to. You definitely have to spend more time getting each photo than you would with any sort of a newer camera. But I think personally that is just one of the great things about it, especially with how good it feels in the hand. It just feels a lot more organic and natural and more analog to go out and get pictures with this camera. But that's pretty much my thoughts on this. Thank you so much for watching. Go down, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.